Alrighty, welcome back to the stream. Welcome back once again to another Mon Demos stream, where we're going to be checking out a bunch of games, demos, and other things that caught my eye. So, uh, first thing we're taking a look at is a game that I kickstarted, or rather I backed on Kickstarter. And I've been waiting for this one to show up for a while now. Because it looked real good, and it also was announced and kickstarted when Silk Song was still a mystery. We hadn't heard anything about Silk Song for quite some time. And this game shows up and is like, oh, that's that looks good. Very, very Hollow Knighty. But also just it look it looked good by itself. That game, of course, is Crow Sworn. So a little bit of context behind this. I backed it at a high enough tier to get access to a backer demo, which is what we're currently looking at right here. This is not a very long demo. Apparently it's like a boss, singular, maybe two, I don't actually know. But it is a demo that we can use to try out the game, see what it's like, see what we got. Also, before I get started, real quick, I'm just going to double check that my stream's working right, because uh, there's a thing on my stream that's telling me uh, that it's unstable, and I just want to double check that it's unstable. I can hear myself. Just want to double check it's not breaking. fine. All right. Ah. All right, I got to set my timer. How about that? All right. Ooh. A little bit of... Okay, there's a little bit of momentum right there at the very beginning. Can't leave. Okay, you got... Got dodge roll on B. Uh, ooh. Oh. Ha. Okay, so right trigger fires. Right bumpers reload. And this is a charge that does a. Okay. Well, let's restart that so I don't go into this without ammo. Okay, so it's this attack. Can I charge? Yeah, no, there's no charge. Yeah, it looked really good. And that's like, that's the thing that caught people's attention right from the start. How good the game looks. Also, hi, Nyler. Oh, ooh, air dash. Hi, Nyler, how you doing? Uh, let's see here. Is there a Corvian power? Okay, so jump, attack, evade, heal is left trigger. Shoot is right trigger, reload, right bumper, Corvian power, whatever that is. Okay. Oh yeah, look at it. Hello. Oh, okay. 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 Right. Okay. So, ooh, animation. Animation. Okay. Um, I think I can get like two hits in there. The hit stop after the third hit is probably too much. Thank you. 
Ow. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, well, like I said, this is a, um, this is just a boss demo. Also, I'm going to turn the sound down a wee bit there. Like, this is just a demo for the boss. That That's all it is. So let's... Let's see how well I do here. I, th I, th I think I can do this. Ow. Okay, 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 okay. I'm starting to get it. I'm starting to get it. It would be easier if I had a health bar, though, so I could gauge how much... Because he definitely has, like, two phases going on here. Okay, that was just bad. <laughs> uh, that was that was just pathetic. Okay, let's go in charged up with a uh, gun. Just need to get my eye in, as it were. Oh my god, really?
Okay, I think I think that's close, but it's hard. It is really hard to gauge because I don't know how much health he has. Okay, so the thing that's really throwing me off is the air dash does not have invulnerability. The dodge roll on the ground does, but the air dash does not. Keep focusing on the falling feathers. I mean, that is a nice effect, isn't it? That was it. That's the. <laughs> like I said, it was just. It's a very short demo just to try out the combat, try out how it feels. And it feels good, generally speaking. Um, I think the only problem I had is like there's a little bit of stickiness, it feels like, with the jumping. Let me see here. Uh. Like, there's a little bit of momentum. Yeah, it's really good looking, isn't it? It also feels pretty good. So you got a little bit of, like, momentum shifting here, which is, uh, fine. I feel like the attacks are maybe a little bit too... Sure, it feels fine, generally speaking. There's like a little bit of kind of weirdness with the jumps when I was first playing it, but it feels fine now. Uh, the fact that that doesn't give you any invulnerability is a little awkward just to get used to, but I imagine that you probably will get some sort of invulnerability thing while you're in the air, or maybe a double jump or something. 
that's just a guess. I do like how the gun has... There's like single fire, there's burst, which leaves you with one shot, and then there's full clip, which is kind of funny. And of course, the uh, reload animation is pretty fun, too. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of contact damage being a thing. Oh, oh, come on. Tracking overhead is rough. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of contact damage in boss fights ever. Just because it's like it it punishes you for being able to properly dodge some attacks, like I did there. I was able to dodge into him properly through the through the attack wave, but I still got hit by him. Hitting me when I'm when he's doing his jump, that's fine because that's part of an attack, but just like him standing there shouldn't be damaging. That's the down for Crow Sworn. Uh, this is a pretty tricky boss. I imagine this is probably like the first or second boss in the actual game. So I'm really looking forward to this. Like the animation is still really good. Like look at this background too. Look at this sick background. This is a wallpaper. Animation is slick. All I would say is like, um, I think in Hollow Knight, because that, that is the closest direct comparison, right? In Hollow Knight, the attacks didn't have like this. See how there's like one, two, and then a big three hit? Okay, there's a little bit of input buffering, it feels like. So watch, I'm going to start rolling as soon as I start that uh, third attack. Yeah, I... Okay, so... What? Swapping to B. Swapping to B. Yeah, there's a little bit of input buffering going on here. So that'll, hmm, that might make for some interesting stuff, but also just it's, it 
feels like there's actually like two or three inputs buffering at any given time. Interesting. So the roll doesn't do it, but the attacks... Interesting. It does, it's not like it feels terrible or anything, it just, it's a little bit weird to get used to. Specifically, the slightly longer animation on that thing. Like, in Hollow Knight, I'm pretty sure there is no variation in attacks. There's like, upswing, downswing, which is just a slightly different animation, but it's basically the exact same move, and then you can just keep doing that forever until you're done with your attacks. Uh, having a thing that makes it so it's slightly more punishing to hit on the third hit, I'm not 100% sure about. I also, I actually like, I just want to point out, I really like that animation. Like that reload animation is great, I love that. I wonder, hold on, I want to check something here. Can I fire up or down? Nope, it is a single direction. You also can't reload unless you're on ground. Try something here. I just want to see something real quick. I think you can use the gun to slightly extend your air range. Oh, that's actually rapid fire. Interesting. Huh. All right. That's all I'm gonna do with that one then. So, that was the Crow Sorn boss demo. You are not a, you're not able to actually get this one normally. You can get this via Kickstarter. You can get this if you know somebody who has it, but uh, you can't just like download a demo EXE or something. This was only available to people like me who backed it at a specific level or above, and it was given to me as a Steam key. So this is actually a game on my library. It's pretty cool. Uh. Like I said, control feels fine. I'm not sure about that third hit on the swipe, but whatever. The gun thing is cool. Uh, animation is fantastic. The boss is tough, actually. Like, that was a fairly challenging boss fight, all things considered. Uh, I'm interested in seeing how the difficulty actually does scale in the regular game. Like, is it going to be... Uh, all that tricky is it gonna be like a lot of checkpointing so you don't have to worry about running back through hard enemies to get to back to a hard boss like is it gonna be a lot of easy enemies and then you just have shortcuts to get to the boss or something I, we'll see so that's ghost worm that'll come out eventually and I'll play it when it comes out but uh, on to the next game Okay, the next game is giving me a little bit of uh, trouble lo to load. It's just, it doesn't want to... 
I wouldn't be surprised if this was made in Unity. Okay, hold on a second here. This. This. There we go. All right. So, the next game we have here is one by the name of Necrosmith and apparently only likes mouse and keyboard. So, this game is a small necromancer simulator where you play as a necromancer in a tower modifying your undead army to go off and uh, build up your tassel and do other stuff. I'm really not 100% sure, but I tried it out. I'm trying it out now, so let's see how it is. Uh, this does not have a free demo on Steam. <laughs> I like the I like the aesthetic. This is like old school adventure game. Yeah, right. This is like an old school adventure game kind of aesthetic, where it's like um, I don't know what the best way to describe it. It's like it's kind of painting ish, but also like pixel art over a picture of a real object kind of look. I really dig this actually. And the Necrosmith thing itself kind of looks like a 3D model that's been sort of pixelized. Like, this is this feels like an old-school adventure game. Also, I can turn the sound up a bit. So, the main reason I'm checking this out is, while it is not free, this is not a demo, this is the full game you're looking at, the game is currently... Let me see here. Necrosmith. Uh, it's currently 10% off for the next... Uh... Two days at two sixty nine. Normal price for the game is three whole dollars. So I couldn't not check it out at that price. That's the same amount I paid for Vampire Survivors. Okay. Pair selected undead. Okay, I can't do anything here right now. I got a cat. Allows well, you someone resource collecting cat. Change profile options. Window. Okay, credits. It, I, okay, it's like it's it's barely visible, but it is changing color slightly when I mouse over this. Like you can kind of make it out. Not really, but it's like it's barely there. Arcane Enchanter. The dead can be revived on the Arcane Enchanter. Assemble all the first dead by filling all the slots. Hover over the body part and hold left mouse bump it button to drag the vice onto the appropriate slot. Okay. Revive the first dead. When all slots have been filled, the dead can be revived. Click revive to make the dead get up and go. So this costs 16 whatever this is to do, and I can build them out of parts in order to revive it. Now, release your dead from the tower to explore the land and collect resources. Assemble and revive four more dead. Experiment combinations of body parts to see the results. Oh, look at that. It's just a little guy who's running around doing stuff. What is this thing? Okay, so let's make a... Let's make a... Wizard zombie. Magic wand. Two magic wands. And he's gonna have... Your dead met its first enemy. It will attack automatically, but its attacks and survivability depend on the body parts used to build it. Oh, I see. So because I gave it a sword, it has a little melee attack, and the wand it gives it a projectile. When your dead approaches object, these on the map, they become yours. So now on the captured object, will generate mana, orb, gold, or body parts every morning. Cool. So I have no idea what this is. Enemy layers. Your dead found an enemy layer. Automatically attack the layer until it's destroyed. The destroyed layer cannot generate new enemies. All right. Uh, let's just get him boots. Revive. Release. Yeah, that guy's having a good time. I'm gonna make a new warrior skeleton. 
That guy's having a great time over there. A new day has begun. Every new day, there will be new body parts in the tower, and all objects on the map collected by your dead will generate income. Okay. Uh, let's go with... Let's get a regular skeleton head, regular skeleton body, two regular legs. Let's give him double crossbows. I found a secret recipe, the skeleton shooter. All save procedures are listed here. Here you can revive dead quickly using save procedures by necessary body parts. Oh, cool. Your revived dead are shown at the bottom of the screen. Click the dead icon to open its parameters. Click on the icon to move the camera to the chosen dead. Ooh, I got crypts. Increase the growth of zombie body parts. Plus two zombie growth per level. You found a blueprint for tower upgrades. To view all available upgrades, click the blue ribbon. You can build tower upgrades using the blueprints you found. You need ore. Uh, I have almost enough ore. Let's make a... Do I have enough for a soldier? I don't have an armored body part yet. Let's see, I can control. Controlled undead. Control its movement using the WAS keys. To turn off control of the dead, right click. Oh, look at this. I can actually control him. That's cool. I gotta go over this mine, though, definitely. And what is this? Some kind of cart? Ooh, what is that? Ooh, what is this? Altar brings in mana every morning. Ooh, I got a zombie head. What are these? Okay, I'll let you guys move on your own now. Uh, oh, what's going on down here? Seems undead are coming to me. Bronze Age Armory. Increase the damage you're dead. Plus one to damage per level. Ooh, let's get that one. Uh, we got a zombie leg. Orc head. Zombie arm with Book of Lightning. Zombie head. Zombie arm. Zombie leg. Another zombie leg. I need a zombie. Zombie body with armor. And... Gives all the dead a plus five vision mode. Okay, cool. Grab that. Revive! Oh god, I got enemies coming. I got enemies coming at me. You created several dead, so you should be able to survive here. Create more powerful servants, explore the lands, grow your power up a bit, and find your way out of this trap. Okay, I need a, I need a new skeleton warrior. Give me a zombie boot. Goblin Workshop. Repairs my tower. Uh, can I afford that? How's my tower doing? I don't actually know. Ah, that has levels. Nothing's going over here. Okay, um... Ooh, orc arm... Ooh, bleh, orc armor with throwing axe. Orc head. I need orc body. Let's uh, make some more skeletons, I guess. Chico skeletons. A bone warrior! Ooh, orc body. Nice. Uh, I could use... Hey, you know what? I'll just send you out. Why not? Get to it, buddy. Do the thing. Okay, uh, orc. I got orc. Arm, head, I need orc legs. Zombie leg with a boot, huh? Hmm. I need more orc bits. Oh, it actually gives me, okay, cool, look at this. Okay, so what heads do I have? I got, ooh, that's not good. Uh, let's get a, one of those, one of those. 
tower is under attack. Enemies reach your tower under attacking you. If its strength drops to zero, you will lose. The dead are located nearby, will react automatically, but it's better to have some body parts in stock to revive some new defenders in time. I've noticed. Act to pause. If you need some time to think, pause the game to study the situation on the map, or select the appropriate body parts to create an effective warrior. Lay is especially useful when enemies close to your tower. That is actually incredibly helpful. Do I have any good arms? No. Okay, revive. Go! Some more that way. There's enemies coming at me from all sides! What the fuck just happened there? What are those? Okay, do I have enough for orc? Mm, zombie leg with a boot. Zombie arm with armor and shield. Ooh. I can make a zombie knight, I bet. Let me see here. Uh, a skeleton body. I don't have a skeleton. Mm, that's not great. Zombie with magic head. Armor and saber. You lack men, you can burn unnecessary body parts. Ooh! Throw unnecessary bar parts into the man extract and burn to make a man. You can also do this by right clicking. Ah! Look at that! Oh, cool! Okay. I got a bunch of extra skeleton legs. Release! Oh, jeez, that guy got wrecked. Okay, this is. Let's make a big boy. Let's make a big boy. Uh, I'm really upset. I don't, I don't know what you know. I'm keeping the orc parts. I'm keeping the orc parts. Let's make a zombie arm and leg, and let's burn some of those. Okay. Um. Six, huh? I need chest pieces, is what I need. Hold on a moment, I got a phone call. Okay, this isn't going well for me right now. Where are these guys going? Where are these guys at? Okay, he's dealing with his own thing over that way. Uh, 27. Is that enough to buy something? Probably. I'm losing, I'm running out of zombies and stuff right now. This is not good. This is highly suboptimal. Okay. But just stand here, it'll be fun. Oh, 
Okay, that could have gotten worse. It could have also been way better. Uh, what do I have for parts? I got a zombie body. Uh, I wish I had more orc bits. How about... I got one zombie leg with a boot. I've also got plenty of mana right now. Put two of those in there. Uh, skeleton arm with saber. Armor and saber. Armor and shield. I don't have an armored skeleton body though, or head. Go with the regular head and go with this. Ah, oh, thank god that worked. Yeah, I'll let that one work on its own for the time being. I gotta keep this one on hand since this is the one that's gonna be controlling and protecting everything. Uh, this is bad. <laughs> uh, zombie body with a cloak. Do I have zombies? Do I have zombie arms I can use? Yes, let's do this. Zombie head. Zombie body. And let's go with zombie arm with a sword. And zombie arm, armor, and shield. Oh god, he's dead already? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, he's already dead. Okay, this isn't good. Um, can I make a bunch of really cheap skeletons? Yes. I can at least make one cheap skeleton. I'm kind of low on skeleton bits. Double skeleton. There we go, more skeletons. Uh, bodies. I got another skeleton body there. Kind of low on arms, though, which is not great. I'll give him, uh, this and crossbow. Oh, I'm out of mana. Out of mana. Oh god, he just ran right in there. Just ran right in there. Oh, I'm dead. I am dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I dead. How am I not dead yet? Wow. Release, uh, do I have any? Gotta make at least one of these. I guess he's going out there with zombie legs. 68. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oof. I'm just gonna burn everything I've got to get this boy out here. Look at him with his little zombie legs. Ooh, 
Ooh, wow, he's doing work. Those orc parts are strong. I mean, it doesn't really help me because I still got wolves coming at me constantly. And almost dead. Yeah, there it is. I really need to get rid of those wolves immediately. Use gold to repair and upgrade devices and items. They will grant you new abilities and increase your chances of survival. How much gold do I have? 360. Uh, I can get a resource collection cat. Cat bed allows you to summon resource collecting cat. Cooldown, 90 seconds. Duration, 20 seconds. Next level, cooldown down, duration up. Allows you to teleport your dead to the tower. Oh! Enhance the quality of blueprints found in destroyed enemy lairs. Produces a few bones every morning. Allows you to smite enemies with a lightning spell. Enables acid fog. Allows you to repair a selected dead. Gives all dead. Oh, that's persistent upgrade. Cool. Okay. So we get to try again. You received your first spell. Find out how it works. Hover your mouse over the spell button. Release the cat that collects towers. Press the button to release the cat. Might as well just put this here. All right, let those two get moving. Resource collection cat, ahoy! Wow, that cat is booking it. Actually, I can get rid of this one and keep that one on there. And get one boot. I need one more skeleton bootleg. One more skeleton bootleg is all I need. Observatory removes the fog of war in a small radius. Ooh, fancy. Ooh. There we go. Skeleton bootleg acquired. Oh, wait, I need a body. Release. Alright, uh, if I can get another skeleton head with armor, that'd be sick. Let's get a zombie... Let's get a tough boy out here. Oh god, I'm being attacked already? Oh god, I'm being attacked by a lot of guys already. I need more. Skeleton me. God, he is an oof. Ugh, you found a blueprint. Increase the armor of your dead. That's not bad, actually. I will take that one. Summon the resource cat. Probably just a regular zombie skeleton at that one. Uh, 
let's just, just get this mishmash of zombies and undead that I'm throwing out here. And I've got my dude right here just sitting here who's throwing out spells. This is a good setup. Okay, uh, that's an orc head. Ooh, that's nice. I get a couple more orc bits. That'd be lovely. I am out of mana. Less than ideal. Okay, and revive, and go. Get to it, folks. Skeleton adventurers, let's call them. I wish I had orc bodies. Oh, what's that? That's a zombie body with a cloak. I actually can, in fact, revive a zombie. Now, if I had mana, that would be more useful. Slightly more mana than I currently have. I could burn... I could burn some parts, but I think it's probably better to... There we go. Look at him go! One more armor. Got some zombie legs. A good zombie body. I got a zombie. Zombie head. Orc skeleton head. Almost. A little bit more mana. A little bit more mana. Okay, we got orc skeleton bits now, which is new. Orc skeleton arm and mace. Zombie body with armor, orc skeleton. Ooh, I could in fact unleash an orc skeleton upon the world. A fully equipped and operational orc skeleton. So just gotta wait for a little bit. I need 30 some odd more mana to get this. Now it's cat time. bit more. Just a little bit more for this. Just a little bit more. <clears throat> oh shit, that was my that was my guy. Uh oh. Ah, I got it. Release! The orc skeleton is awake and ready to fight! Okay, I can use another Mage. Do I have any mage arms? Uh, yes, I do. Give me this. I don't have enough to revive it, though. Let just, just a little shy. Just a little shy. Mm. Come on, just a little bit more. Come on, just a little bit more. Mm. Oh no, my York! 
My orc skeleton! I have orc bits. I have one orc arm. An orc skeleton leg. Uh, I don't even think I'd be able to afford a patchwork orc right now. Yeah, like this patchwork orc costs 60 mana and I don't have enough for that. Patrick Orc activated! <clears throat> oh, that died. Okay, that's unfortunate. Alright, well, that's over. Oh, uh, well. How much money do I get this time? Necromancer, I've calculated everything. There is no other way. It'll be difficult, but I think I can get the parts and blueprints I need here. I've named this project The Return and broken it down to six stages. Uh. What was that all about? Just checking to see if you're still in your right mind. I'm recording my log. Don't interrupt. The first stage is the easiest one. Clear the site and prepare the foundation. I got 700 gold. Rep allows you to repair a selected undead. Fog spell, Necromancer's table, few bones every morning, my enemies. Let's take that one. Oh, uh, AoE 2, next level AoE 3, cooldown 110 seconds. Let's try out one last run and see how this goes. Teleport your dead back to the tower. Click the spell button, hover over dead, and click the left mouse button. Okay, so it allows me to basically teleport a small. Yeah, like this is the region I'm allowed to teleport in. It's a little teeny zone. It's not much. Achievement. That's too much, man. Okay, need a little bit more mana. Some more mana, guys. Come on. A little bit more mana. Just give me a little bit more mana. So now I can do this. Okay, they're facing off on some enemies down that way, it looks like. Ugh. 
guys coming from. Ah, down there, I see it. They're gonna come over here, buddy. Good. They got control now. They can handle it. Ooh, that's a lot of enemies. Um... I'm just gonna take control of this one, so I have backup standing right here until I get a uh, spellcaster at least. Well, actually, this is pretty decent because that does allow me to control everything. Like, this hits everything in the line, pretty much. I do wish I could indicate, like, go here and take care of these spawners, though. Looks like they are, so that's good. Well, now they're chasing the enemies, which is not ideal. Sauce cat, go. Oh, cool. That actually captures things for me. That's sick. That guy's just having a good time. Okay, somebody just died. Look at him go. Where's this guy? Oh, he, he just bit it, so whatever. <laughs> to get. Yeah, whatever. I'll let him do his thing. This will be my new control character. I'll let these ones zoom around the map and gather things for me as needed. Oh, finally, they're starting to get down here. Fertilizer Hall increases the regeneration of your dead. Oh my god, yes! Thank you, thank you, I needed that. 
orc leg with a boot. Zombie head with a helmet. Ooh, improves vision of the dead. That's not bad. Armored zombie. Uh, let's go with zombie armor with a crossbow. I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more mana to get this zombie uh, armored gunner guy up and running. What is that thing? Black Oblis, the threatens to give control over the dead in a small radius. Well, get wrecked, Black Oblis. There's my new armored zombie. Found a portal! Click on the portal to activate it. To activate the portal, draw a rune inside its silhouette as shown on the page. The portal has been activated. Now you can use it to release your debt. Oh, that's cool! So I can move them over here immediately. That's. Oh! That's pretty cool! I really should release them here, though. I need more undead moving in this direction. Uh, let's see. Orc skeletons. I can get an orc skeleton. I need one more orc skeleton. I need one more orc skeleton with a boot, I should say. And then release here. Ah, oh, there it is. Perfect. Skeleton Orc Bomb Priority. You release the dead from both the porter tower and activated portals. We're releasing your dead. Check the box near the desired exit or select it on the desired portal by clicking on the directly on the map. Well, this is exactly where I want it to be, honestly. So that orc is going to go do its thing. This skeleton's going off doing the thing I wanted it to do, which is excellent. It's exploring in this direction. Uh, the skeleton over here is... Oh my, is that a UFO? That is straight up a UFO. Alright, what else we got? Um, I do have 83... So let's do that again. I now have 38. My undead are regenerating stronger, I assume. Uh, I'm going to get that. So it's upgrading my thing. Might as well get vision on my undead as well. All right. Now I have 33 mana. Orc skeleton arm with armor and shield. Orc arm. I could make another orc skeleton, it looks like. Yeah. Do I have an orc skeleton head? I do. Skeleton legs. 57 mana. So it's gonna take a minute before that's ready. Yep, they're regenning. Gotta love it. Yeah, putting the uh, crossbow skeleton on here is the best choice, I think, because. What does this one even have? All I need is just double crossbows. As long as it does double crossbows, then that'll just like shoot everything in a line nearby. It's very good. There's a thing, guys, finish off the enemy. They're, they're off doing their own thing. I don't even know where all these, I don't even know where most of these zombies are at the moment. 
these guys are just having a good time over here, it looks like. They're just having a good time over there. Oh god, something just died. Okay, I've got 88. Time to revive the big boy. Alright, do I have any... Okay, I do have two skeleton arms with rusty crossbows. Uh, magic shield, skeleton body, magic barrier. Doesn't really matter what I use for the body. In fact, I should probably use a cheaper body, if anything. I uh, got the two crossbows there, cheaper legs. Uh, head doesn't really matter. Making sure I have as many crossbows as possible just going off. Okay, let's, uh... Let's send some support over to the desert here. Because they seem to need some help dealing with that thing. that portal at? Ah, there it is. Okay, this is, uh, gonna be bad. I got these dudes coming in. These wolves are a problem. Let's get some beefy guys going. Afford it. Very least, I'm chipping away at this damage. Oh, and they're coming in. This is excellent. Ooh, that guy took a lot of damage. Oh, good. Those guys are coming over this way, too. Excellent. Oh, my God. That dude just evaporated. Holy shit. Thank God I've got this regeneration, so at least it'll stick around maybe a little bit longer, but Christ. Oh, there he goes. Those wolves are rough. this. Let's give you... Let's give you that one. Skeleton Mage! <laughs> oh, he's gone. He's already dead. Just evaporated again. For this one, excellent. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm kind of good here for the moment. I'm gonna release this dude here. My tower is relatively okay. I've got two dedicated defenders rocking, and oop, the UFO is almost complete. Am I encountering farmland? Eh, I figured as much. 
All right, what are we dealing with? Lots of wolves. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Harpy? Harpy body. I don't have any harpy arms or legs, though. I got a vampire leg. Uh, do I have regular orcs? No, I got orc skeleton. Let's go with this. Um, I should have enough to afford this orc skeleton I'm putting together. Let's give him regular orc legs. Why not? Release! Oh, we got a harpy leg. Iron protein. And that guy's dead. Fantastic. Two harpy legs. Harpy body. Just need harpy arms now. I'll be able to make a harpy, which would be cool. How's that UFO going? Oh, it's almost done. It's almost done. Come on. It's all... Guys. They're going to chase that thing all the way. Where did I get a vampire leg from? That's what I want to know. Okay. Um, let's make some armored skeletons. Skeleton soldier! <laughs> That's about what I expected, honestly. Um, I can make another one, though. go. Look at that cat. <clears throat> Just, so I need, I need guys to finish up on the fucking, uh, UFO. It's right there. The UFO's right there. a lot of enemies. It's a lot of enemies. Not a whole lot I can do there, unfortunately. Like, the only thing I could have done otherwise is force a thing to attack the UFO just to finish it off. Which probably would have been a good idea. Alright. Very cool. Look, this is a, just a fun little game. Like, it's a really good idea, and the fact that it's only $3 means that, like, any real complaints I would have had about it just kind of vanish off into the ether. It has enough stuff in there, it's just like, it's... It's very casual, you can do a lot of active stuff in it, but generally speaking, it's very, like, relaxed, honestly. Uh, no keyboard, or no gamepad control, which is a little annoying, which means I can't play it on my Steam Deck as easily, I'd have to readjust things and add like a touchpad control and all that stuff but yeah I, I can see playing this bunch Let's see 800 gold 600 gold it mentioned there's an actual exit thing to do which I have no idea how to do that um, I could get this and it's the quality of blueprints found in destroyed enemy layers so I need to lightning Green acid fog. Repair selected undead. Probably cost mana. Let's uh let's take this one. Seems like the better pick. Better blueprints probably means better upgrades. So just a uh, constant progression. Seems pretty cool. And that just closed it entirely. Okay. Anyway, that was Necrosmith. Actually, go check that game out. Like, that is, like I said, it's three bucks. 
That's how much the game is. $3, slightly cheaper now. It's actually pretty good. The most recent patch was today, in fact. New patches here, just like the community items. Happy Stray release week, everyone. Right, because Stray comes out. Uh, tomorrow, in fact. Uh, Necrosmith patch, make sure you have the latest version of the game. Added blueprint sorting in the upgrades tab. Now the max out upgrades will be at the end of the list. Fixed a bug preventing the Western Book of the Dead achievement. Obtaining and adding a retroactive check of the collected relics. If you fill the conditions early and do not achieve blah, blah, blah. Uh, fix the mechanoids drop from the upgrade table. Fix a damage issue with no damage from the acid fog spell. Fix lizard grenade work. Port dealt damage five times and only one. Fix the damage of the hammer and VFX in opening portals and drawing runes. Before that, they played on top of each other. Various localization fixes. Also added Steam backgrounds, icons, trading cards, that sort of thing. What is this made in Unity? Yeah, I knew it was made in Unity. It crashed when I tried to get it on OBS. New AI is coming. Achievements. First update. When did this game actually come out? It must have been recent. Came out... Oh, it only came out five days ago and they've already pushed out three patches? Wow, they are working on this game. But, uh, yeah. So that's that's Necrosmith. Honestly, super cool game. Definitely check it out. It's... <laughs> I feel like it's trying to fall into, like, the same category as Vampire Survivors of just, like, $3 game that you just sink a dozen or a hundred hours into. It's pretty good, though. I, I give it a thumbs up. But that's enough out of Necrosmith. I played that for almost an hour. We're moving on to the next game I had lined up. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do this game next. And this one is going to take a second to set up. So... I'm going to put on a little bit of music while I'm doing that. This is going to be from the, uh, let's, let's make it the hi-fi playlist, stream beats hi-fi playlist. So I'll be back in a moment as I get this whole thing working. It's going to take a minute.
Okay, hopefully you're enjoying the jams. Because now, we're about ready to start. Conveniently, the song is almost over, too. How about that timing? Okay, uh, this is going to be funky. So let's see if I can get audio. I guess I probably want to turn that all the way up. And. Oh, what? Crash? What? I guess it crashed. That's awkward. Wait, did my Steam. Fuck? Okay, uh, hold on. Is, uh, that's weird. I don't know why that crashed. Give, give it a second. It's slight, slight difficulty. Hold on, who, who's saying that? Hold on. Oh. Hold, just hold on a tick. Uh, things crashed, so I have to fix them. Okay, it's working. Looks like it's working. Okay. Um, tab. Alt tab. Do that. There we go. Ah, hello, Cookie Mon. How are you doing? So, here's what's on the agenda for right now. Not necessarily today. Boop. And boop. There we go. Can't see anything right now because it's a black screen. Hey, there we go. Works. I think I'm going to turn that sound down as well. I'm going to drop in that to like... There we go. All right, so what is on the agenda currently is the demo for Ruins Magus, which is a JRPG. So this game is very unusual because, one, it is a VR demo, which they don't generally do because a lot of VR games are relatively short things. You don't want to, like, experience all the game mess off in the first 30 minutes and then not be able to refund it, right? Second, it's a JRPG, which I've never seen in VR. Got a nice art style to it, so let's continue, shall we? Okay, that seems loud. Um, hold on a second. Good. Got a buckler. Cool. And stuff on my arm. Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, it's tricky to do audio when in VR because I'm standing about two feet away from my microphone. So let me drop that to there. Okay, that should be better, I hope. All right. Uh, Ruins Magus, welcome to the world of Ruins Magus. Here you will learn the basic movement of the action. Not how you say that in English. Tell it's uh, Japanese. I'm interested. It doesn't have hands. I'm moving my hands with my controller, but it's not doing anything. All right. Uh, let's move around. Left thumbstick changes the direction of movement. Right thumbstick changes the viewpoint. Oh, God, can I turn that off? Uh, play style, standing... Why is it doing that? Okay. Hey Google, what's six feet in centimeters? Six feet is equivalent to 182.88 centimeters. 182, so 183. Hey Google, what's 175 centimeters in feet? 175 centimeters, 5 feet 8.898 inches. I think that's the average height for a male engine. Why isn't it? Hundred eighty two should be good. Um two points forty five vignette off. Oh, I dropped my head a little. Really wish that sound wasn't so loud. You know what? I could probably change that come to think of it. System settings. There you go, master. Let's just drop that to like seventy. Oh, that's way better. It was, it was like, ear-piercingly loud a second ago. Also, uh, for context, 
Right here is where I have the chat. So that's why I'm going to look over that way every so often. Hi, chat. How are you doing? All right. Right stick changes viewpoint. Left thumb stick does this. I kind of wish there was smooth turning, but whatever. Uh, you're free. You are now free to, you can now roam the world of Ruins Magus. All one word here. All done. Let's use the blink. Uh, specify direction and press left trigger. Nice. Oh, okay. It's like a dash. Cool. Use the gauntlet attached to your right hand. Use magic. Press the right trigger to charge. Activate with trigger. Off! Oh, this is reticle. Nice shot. Fireball is the basic normal magic of the wizard. Damage depends on the number of seconds of charge. Uh, okay, I missed those. That's probably important. Lower your right hand close to your waist. Press right trigger and right grip at the same time. Oh, that's Odo, I see. Press right grip. Oh, cool! Cool! I actually like that! Small top can do small but multi-stage damage. Two types of magic can be used by switching between them. Uh, press in the thumbstick. Toggle special magic. Hold the right hand trigger, charge Thunderdome. Yeah! Thunderdome cannot move while charging, but can inflict heavy damage over a wide area. Hey, that's pretty cool, though. I like that. Uh, I'm just doing. I don't have to do that. I'm just doing that for funsy. So I have to like. Move your right hand. You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go back to the title screen because I've skipped like a third of the tutorial so far. And I feel like that's a bad thing to do. Oh, I forgot to set my timer for this too. I know, I won't know how long I've been in VR for. Let's start that again. Okay. Movement. Get up. Get up. Get up. Good. Okay. Blank. Specify and left trigger. So it's like a it's like a dash. Nice. Use the gauntlet. Use magic. Right trigger to charge. Nice shot. Okay, you can only stock a little bit of Odo in the gauntlet. It runs out, you need to reload it. How do I tell? Lower your right hand close to your waist, press right trigger and right grip at the moment to refresh. Okay, once the Odo is fully consumed, magic cannot be used. Reload for you. Magic. Molotov. There it is. Switch, thumb stick. I'm out of magic. Why isn't it? There we go. Arrgh! Use various items besides magic. If you want to attack a certain area, use grenades. Move your right hand close to the grenade on your chest. Keep pressing the right hand trigger. Press the right trigger to release the fuse. Release the grip to throw. Boop. Boom. 
What should I do if I'm dying in the ruins after taking damage? Recover ruins, you can use a potion. Uh, thumbstick up. Oh. Okay, so back turns you around, up changes your item. Take potion. Cool. Uh, left hand is equipped with a shield, ship looking attack as well as defend, and you can see your stats there, which is cool. Uh, it is a shield, so of course you can defend with it. Why wouldn't you be able to? That'd be silly. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, shield not only protect, it can also attack. Just before an opponent's attack hits the shield, press the left hand grip, not trigger. Attack can be deflected. Oh, it's a parry! Shield is durability value, which is that right there, I guess. And if it runs out, you're you are you not be able to guard or parry. Have fun at Ruins Magus! Cool! Domo. Hey, how you doing? Hey, pal, how you? Yo! Yo! Look at these guys with no face. Yeah! Domo! Hello! Character saying hello in Japanese and not moving at all. They're out of eyesight. Ara, kyo kara no kata desu ne. Maho tsukai gildo, Ruins Megase, yow koso! Okay, so it's kind of hard to see. There's like a little dialogue window that's showing up down here. Uh, the view on screen is a little short. A little, a little short, so it's hard to make out. Now, I do what I need to, right? So it says Reese. Her name is Reception. Oh, you're the one who's starting today. Welcome to the Magus Guild, Ruins Magus. Katakushi. I run the guild counter reception here in front of the ruins. My name is Reception. Feel free to call on me if you need anything at all. トーギルドは遺跡の発掘と調査を主任務とし、ルインズメガスが誇る遺跡ハンター。いえ、魔法使いたちがガーディアンの救う危険な遺跡で日夜探索を続けています。Okay, uh, it scrolled down, so I can't actually read the top bit. Uh, the guild ruins hunters are known as the Magi. They spend their days hunting the ruins, the ever dangerous home of the Guardian. The Magi are the heroes of the city. They bring us relics and ogos stones to make the world a better place to live. They are the heroes of the city. They bring us relics and ogos stones to make the world a better place to live. They are the heroes of the city. They bring us relics and ogos stones to make the world a you're probably a bit anxious, but don't worry. When starting out, a new mage is formed to care for a dyad, and the affiliate research organization. So then they can support you in your mission. Okay, so we're gonna go to the guild counter and talk to the guild counter. Game's still a bit loud, I think. So let me just turn that down to there. Your support should be here any moment now. Okay, nothing. Okay, her name's Iris. Okay, she's from there. Ah, there she is. I don't know why they couldn't have her run in from the back or something. Overall armor design is pretty good. It's like a I don't know, it's a very standard look because they've got the ones over there too. I guess that's what I look like. I guess it's supposed to be kind of witchy, but like rustic fantasy workman wishy witchy. I don't know, it's not a bad look. 
got like, you got the skirt with the apron on the skirt, which is kind of goofy. I'm Iris, the researcher. I'm actually pretty new myself, and uh, this is my first time supporting a major. But don't worry, I'll be supporting you from out here, and I can conduct research on any reason or else you find. So just leave it to me. Actually, I just realized I don't know what to call you. What's your name? Oh, hey. That's an awesome name! Hey, thanks, I appreciate it. Oh, here, let me give you this. It's a mage's hat. This is proof that you're a mage's. It also acts as your identification. You can't get into the rooms without it. Really? The hat? The hat's my ID? I, I can't... I can't put it on my head. Alright, Ayoto. For today, you are officially a beginner magus. Yay! A round of applause. It looks great on you. Okay. I guess I put it on. Okay, here comes the wordy formal stuff. Hi, Eris. Field researcher for Enigma. Hereby confirm this dyad and pledge to support you in all of your beginner missions. Pretty cool, right? It's only until you get promoted in rank, but let's try our best. Okay, our very first hunt. Let's go! Hey, hey, what? Alright, time to go hunt in the ruins. Okay, it is that, that one's showing up on screen. Huh. Well, at least I know where the path is. Oh, I see. It uses up one of these things. Oh, that's cool! Okay, so what was it? it was grab? Ah. ah, I got it. I guess it's just a... Ah. Not entirely sure why... Oh, oh, I see. I see. It shows you which one's active. I still got these grenades too if I need them. Heal potion and grenades, yeah, of course. Grab and gesture.
That is pretty strong. Okay, there's a character called Little Hollow on screen. Or Lit Hollow. Hey! Oh, hi. Let me guess, hologram? Yep. Thank goodness I finally caught up. Surprise? This is my self-developed, patent-pending, pride and joy, Lil Hollow. I made it just for this occasion. I remodeled the Guardian so that I could control from the outside the ruins and project this hologram of me. Ever since I was little, I loved tooling around with relics. I'm not so bad if I do say so myself. Inventing stuff is my specialty. That being said, it looks like the sun's already about to set. How about we call it a day? It's been like three rooms. How's your first hunt feel? I hope I provide good support in there. You did nothing. Alright, looks like you're all done. Wait, what? What's going on? Oh, it's waiting for me to click forward on Okay. Well, this is bad. The exit's blocked. How are we going to get out? I swear, if you say how are we going to get out. Oh, hi. Cool. It's a Meta Guardian! This is really bad. Hey there, this enemy is way tougher than anything that should be in this beginner area. Ah, it's really loud too. This is really bad. Ayoto, this enemy is way tougher. You just said that. Ah, there's the health bar. That doesn't work well. Ah, why is that? Even give me an option. What is this place? I didn't see anything like this about this in the public files. Yeah, pretty cool, right? It looks like a Halo location. What is it with like? I feel like this is actually a not uncommon thing where ancient ruins and fantasy games in Japan are just like large geometric. Sh Square shapes, like repetitive square patterns on, like this. I don't, I don't know why specifically that's always the case. Maybe it's because like a lot of ancient Japanese architectures, like smooth lines and curved stuff, and they like uh, this is much more common, I guess, in ancient Western architecture. Actually, come to think of it, yeah. Whenever you're like ancient Japanese ruins and fantasy stuff, are always like blocky structures, squares, that sort of thing. 
ancient ruins in Western stuff, apart from the ones that are, like, designed to be specific kinds of ancient structure, like Mesopotamian architecture or something, or they're, like, carved out of a cave, are, like, weird organic shapes or curved tunnels and that sort of thing. You ever think about that? No? Me neither. Uh... What is this place? It looks totally different to the rest of the ruins. There are still so many mysteries to uncover about the ruins. But the ruins in Grand Amnes are especially massive. Which just means there's a lot left to discover. I see a light further along this path. It looks like it keeps on going. Want to check it out? I mean, I I got nothing else planned for today. Why do you have a personality? Uh, uh, no, little Hollow's starting to run out of Odo. Anyway, we need to get back. Things have gone quiet up above, so let's wait for a good time and then go home. What, I don't get to go into the hallway? Hello! How was the Welcome back! How was your first hunt? A lot of stuff sure did happen down there, huh? I looked into it, and that area you found was a new discovery! I made sure to remind HQ that we were the ones who discovered it! You did a great job today! I was worried about who I'd throw a die at! Oh my god, it's so loud! Ugh. But as long as it's you, I think things will work out just fine. We can take a... Jesus Christ, it's so loud! Hold on! Oh god, that was so loud! We can take out some guild missions starting tomorrow, so let's give it our all. Okay, now we're popped into a... Hi. This. Ah, what is that? My phone's reminding me about something. Oh yeah, that's just my alarm for tomorrow. Okay. Announcement from the Tufts Guild Urban Affairs Department, dear immigrants. It's a message to all immigrants in the neighboring and western land. Please be aware that the necessary procedures differ depending on the work visa. Please know that there are different departments and documents required for those working in Armory Tunks Atelier, those working for companies affiliated with Tunks Guild, Wizards Guild, or their affiliate organization Enigma, and those emigrating on the special exception of the House of Lords. Why do you have devil horns? That's the most clear sign of somebody being evil, having a weird smirk grin and devil horns on their head. Oh, that's the thing over there. This. It's a book of magi stories. It talks about how people are born seeking magic. I do like how they actually have these things just littered around and you can pick them up and they're like little detailed things. That's cool. And then of course the people themselves have no detail apart from the main characters. Like, look at this. He's pushed back by her. She has no face. She doesn't move. She just has a walk animation. Alright, do this. As a Magi, my first assignment is a request to help repair for the opening of Ruin's Bounty. It's a store that is run by an entrepreneur from the East. It's time to roll our sleeves! Magic Skill Ice Turret. Oh, hi. So, Hey, Yota, have you heard? They started surveying the area we discovered yesterday. 
Because of how strong the Guardians are, they classified it as an expert area. They probably won't even let us back in yet. What a pain, even though we were the ones who discovered it. Oh well, let's just do our best to handle what's in front of us. Okay, let's pull ourselves together. It's time for the real first mission. Let's give everything we've got, Ayoto. Here's your mission this time. Helping out at Ruin's Bounty? A shop? That's right! I hear the shop will be opening up soon. The shopkeeper is an elderly gentleman from the far eastern lands. I mean Japan! Is that so? Don't you have anything more daring? You know, something that screams, ADVENTURE! Now, now, you're both beginners after all. It's best to take things one step at a time. Plus, this way you get store credit and we don't have to pay you. Well, I guess that's true. Alright, let's go show that shopkeeper what we can do. Come on, Ayoto! I really wish I had a working lab mic. Make things uh, much easier to deal with. Isn't that just a... I'm 90% sure that's like a race from Final Fantasy. Like, uh, the weird kobold monsters. I remember seeing, like, pictures of them from Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. But, like, I'm pretty... Isn't that literally a Final Fantasy race? Like, am I crazy? Is that not... This place has a certain quality to it. I kind of like it. I, I mean, sure, but I'm not sure what to think about the mushrooms growing on the log over there. I'm pretty sure those aren't the edible kind. Maybe they are. I guess probably not. Excuse me! Hi, hi. Yes, yes. Well... <laughs> I don't need to translate that one. Uh, pardon me. No, no. I'm quite used to everyone being surprised. Grand Amnes may be large, but there are no Eastern... There are no Eastern demi are there? Why'd you come to Grand Amnes, sir? The Mari! Mari desu na. I'm an old man without much time left. I just wanted to try and make a name for myself one last time. How to gamble? <laughs> you seem fit as a fiddle to me. So you have a job for us? Yes, yes. I'm opening a shop for all your magi needs, you see. But I have been able to get to the stocking. I don't have a single darn thing to sell. Not even one? That's right. That's where you folks come in. Just leave it to us, sir. You certainly are full of energy, eh? Now, my young mages, would you be able to get me these things? I don't know, I can't read. Let's see. I wonder. Oh, wait, what does that say? I want to know what that says. Uh. Okay, hold on, let me do this. Think, did that take a screenshot? Probably not. Oh, no, nope, definitely didn't. Okay, uh... Click on that. There we go. Screenshot taken. I'll translate that after I'm done with this. Let's see. Okay, this! Okay, this! The 
This looks like a dot. What the hell's a dottle? <laughs> well then, we'll try your work. For the sake of my money, too. I've just got to wrestle this square dude. Come back later. <laughs> He's got a shield on his back. Let's go, I hear him. Uh, wow, I've already been doing this for at least 20 minutes. Arrests for possession of forbidden books. The Magi's Tale has long been popular throughout Grand Amnesluts. As is well known, published more than 50 years are considered forbidden, and mere possession of them is strictly punishable by city law. The book is on display in the Library of Rant, the most remote library in the state. The person responsible for this and more below. Let's go. Enter the ruins. Yep. Oh, you can almost avoid the guardian's attacks around here. If you move sideways, try it. See, it actually shows a thing now. Guardian, hello. Thank you, I am amazing, I know. I got one. It's the same thing. It's probably just a message telling you to move back to position. Oh, hello. Okay, yellow is can carry, blue is can guard, red is cannot guard. Change this out to a heal potion.
we go, much better. Much better this time. Ah. There's somebody... Okay, I can't go back that way. There's an invisible wall. Ooh, items. That looks like a place something's about to come at me from. If I had to guess. Okay, we collected everything on the list. Let's go back to the shop. You got it. Oh, I have hands now. Mr. Shopkeeper, are you sure this stuff will even sell? Honestly, it looks like a bunch of junk to me. Are you not, little one? I have many years of know-how under my belt. Now let's find you something good as a reward. Let's see here. Oh, this is tough. Do you pass for our money, too? Oh, this should do. Be sure to come back once the shop is open. God, it's so loud. Yeah! We did it! Ruins Bounty is now open. You learned new magic skill, Ice Turret. Looks like the inventory on the pause screen. Sure. Magic Gauntlet, Shield, okay, Magic, Fire Shot, Molotov, and Thunder Dome, or Ice Turret. Activate by throwing a projectile to charge him and activate it generates a turret that automatically affects the enemy for duration. Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna swap. Let's do that one. Okay, let's see what's in this shop. I've got some Odo. To sell to use, I guess. It's really weird. There's like all this detail going in on all this side stuff. You got this fake newspaper on the wall. You've got like big honey. You got all this honeycomb, onions, shopping lists, prices, all this decoration, and then you have faceless dude. Like, look, look at all all this. It's such a weird mix. It's like these characters were thrown in as an afterthought. E collecting. Probably were. Most aristocrats have their own homes and villas and cities and their own territories away from the city. Because important meetings and social gatherings are held in the cities. <laughs> I... I don't... Look, look at all this detail! It's ridiculous. It's actually very impressive. Foreign exchange, foreign currency to Odo Stone Exchange and Management Administration, client assets, electronic payments via Enigma Odo Communications, and more. We promise the best security and performance in the city. We can also handle the currencies of many Western Lunds countries. Please feel free to contact your market manager, owner, and bank. Let's see, I can buy potions, the consumable injector. Physical performance made using Enigma. It's used by taking in your hand and sticking to your arm. Increase the attack power of defense. Grenade, small potion. Okay, whatever. Nee, nee. I made this belt by myself. It's good, isn't it? I mean, it's a belt. Sure is a belt. A new book pad terminal goes on sale. 
official Enigma Institute terminal in the average home. Odo line has now become commonplace. It's convenient, isn't it? I, Magian reporter, check the text communication when I wake up in the morning, have a meeting with my boss on the phone, go to the office. If I find a story, take a picture of it and send it to the headquarters. I'm very dependent on it. I've been using a small portable terminal, but I heard that a large format book pad is about to be released. The actual product is about the size of a book, and until now, only Enigma and affiliate companies have been able to use it. I don't know, let, let's try out this next quest, and then I'll probably call this demo, because I've actually been going for 40 minutes now, at least. I wasn't expecting the demo to go quite so long. Okay, let's get out there and really show them today. Oh, by the way, this week is Hunter Safety Awareness Week. Hunt week in good company. Beware of rogues. Recently, robberies have been committed in the ruins. There have been a number of cases of damage caused by rogues. Let's hunt in a friendly manner. The drawing is really cute. Uh, I guess it's kind of hard to see with the text in front. But today's mission. We're looking for something that someone lost? Seriously? You there! A Nobo? Indeed, a Nobo am I! To the matter at hand, the other day I accidentally left my extremely precious, exquisite, high quality staff in the ruins. Your duty is to retrieve that extremely precious, exquisite, high quality item and bring it back to me. It's going to be broken and we're going to have to repair it. Or pay for it, I bet. Why us? You're already searched sure, for Enigma, are you not? You're aware that my household contributes your organization, yes? Rookie Magi and researchers are little more than servants in my eyes. Um, guy's getting on my nerves. Watch your tongue! What are you waiting for? Hop to it! Are all the beginner jobs going to be like this? Probably. It's a staff, right? I think I can pick up its location, so let's head there. Thanks, Ice Turret. This feels a little unnecessary. charge. next. Howdy, crash! Yep. 
You almost said the Guardian. You can almost avoid the Guardian's attacks around here if you move sideways. Try it. This is gonna be a pain. Ah, you get out of here. Okay, that could have been worse. Guardian, no. What? That was a waste. It's fine. How am I looking? Uh, health's not great, honestly. I'll use my grenade more often. Triangle corner in the triangle that triangle. All becomes available in full. Move one's hands behind one's neck. Press and activate both trigger and grip buttons at the same time. It's not a hold. Aim and press the trigger again. Well, oh, that's goofy. All cages can be used to attack, defend, and it accumulates through actions such as parry. Reload the old cage and use it when time is to the crunch. That's goofy as hell. Staff. Good job. Now let's get a move on and finish this stinking job already. Whoa, 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 what's the hurry? Oh, it's this dude again. It's obviously evil guy. Rogues! They really did show up! You'd better drop that ugly, expensive-looking thing if you don't want to get hurt. I like he's got a little lightning head there. Give us a break, you creeps! You got some sass. If you're not gonna give it up, you're in for some pain. Get ready for a woman! They might be human, but you better not pull your punches. Kick their butts! 
Alright. <laughs> Boss fight intro cutscene. It's just a spur of the moment thing. I just want a bit of action, you know, and a bit of cash for fun. Just tell me about it back at the brakes. I guess there are some jerks on the Magi as well, huh? We better be careful. God, it's so loud. Well, anyway, mission complete. It's so loud. It's so loud. Back Alley is now available. Hey, thanks for playing the Ruins Mages demo. We hope to, you look forward to continuing your adventures in Grand Amnus. Remember to add Ruins Mages to your wishlist so you can continue your adventure. What is the back alley supposed to be? Alright, uh, I'm gonna take off the VR headset and reset back to a normal desktop format. And then I'll give my thoughts on that game. Also, how much time is it? Uh, I have time for one. This. Kind of. There we go. The, why is it behind me? This, okay, for context, this way is forward for me. For some reason it's backwards right now. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, I'll be back in a moment.
And it turns out just just so happens that uh I can get rid of this. Just so happens that right now on Steam it's the Steam VR Fest. So hey, how about that? How about that timing? All right. So, um Honestly, not bad. I did like that game. It's it's not bad. It's interesting having a game that is more story focused than most VR games which t typically are like extremely small games. Okay, so two two things to it, right? It's not like it's the only VR game that has story to it. Moss, for example, does. Um do I have any other VR games that actually have that? <laughs> Let me see here. Uh VR games. Uh I'm just looking through my VR library right now and like uh Ruins May just has sort of some story to it. Uh that's it. <laughs> that's the only VR game that actually has story. All the other ones I have are kind of more focused around short play experiences like Beat Saber or uh, they're like weird things like I've got the Little Witch Academia VR broom racing game uh, there's Battle Group VR which is pretty cool Star Wars Squadrons oh Star Wars Squadrons is VR but that's not VR first that's just also VR and it's a dog fighting game on top of that oh, so it's it's interesting in that it's a game that's actually focused around a story and doing that sort of thing with it Although it is very, at least in the beginning, it feels much more like it's forcing you through all the missions and you don't have much choice in what you do. So it really could have just been, it could have been like a linear series of levels. Or rather, sorry, that's not the way I would put it. It could have been just like you're never leaving the dungeon and you just go through the levels and as you get through each into each zone, it gives you, like, a new objective. Like, it could have really been that. I appreciate the extra effort they put into, like, trying to dress it up a little bit more as a JRPG kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I'd have to actually go through it. It does seem like it's a decent time, though. Uh, I, I'm aware, also, it doesn't stream particularly well because, like, it, it's very zoomed in on my screen when I'm showing it off, but it's it, it's fine when you're in it. I'm trying to think of how exactly I put this. Uh, so, the one thing that's kind of odd to me is how some of the stuff seems very high quality, and then some of the stuff seems very low quality. You have a world which looks like it's very low, not not no effort or low effort, but like low poly sort of very simplistic art style for a lot of the stuff then you have like the faces on three of the characters and the texture work there is really good but their animations are very stiff and stilted um they've got all this voice acting and all this stuff going into it which is fairly high quality from what i can tell it's hard to tell because it's in japanese and i can't gauge like quality of voice acting that easily i don't know japanese voice actors always feel like they're much better than western just in general but um so you have that but then at the same time everything is locked to those like jrpg moments animations slide into position as the dialogue progresses there's no like all the animation is very low effort low quality it's very simple like moving to poses they could have done a lot more stuff with just making it feel more dynamic like having people run in to frame and talk or being able to look around and see like somebody walking in instead of them just phasing in and out of existence it's it's weird it feels like it, the budget is about half of what it needed to be when making this game like just as an example right you could have had like a guild building instead of a tent standing in front of the thing or you could have had like a little partition so you're in a sort of enclosed space and then the noble would have walked out from the corner while that was happening and was like i'm the noble instead of having to fade to black and load it in again it's just it, it's really weird 
Okay, so trying to trying to like break it down into like a more concise form. Uh, the combat itself seems fine. I like the parry. I like the various abilities. I like how you can actually swap magic and have different kinds of things going on in there. Uh, it's a little bit hectic mid-combat when you're trying to, like, parry things, but then you can't even see where everything's coming from, like, especially when fighting that uh, guy at the very end. Uh, what else? I don't know. It's, it's not a bad game. Let me put... Let me say that. It's not a bad game. In fact, I would say it's probably pretty decent as far as what it's trying to accomplish. But it's just being held back. It's trying... It feels like the person in charge or whoever has the vision for this game is trying to do something well beyond the means of what they actually managed to pull off with the game itself. The budget does not seem high enough because some things are really high budget. You've got all this music. You've got all the voice acting. You've got the VR environments. You've got the VR motion stuff, which seems very good. But then you have, like, the other stuff, which seems very cheap, which is the characters with no animation who are just reused and basically very low textures. Oh, right. Another example, the shop. You have all this detail going into the shop and all the dressing. And then you have a bunch of guys standing in there who have no faces and are just copy paste of the same model. You have the the other research ladies who are walking around and they have no face. They have a mouth, the same hairstyle, same clothes with different colors, and they just walk into Infinity and they don't move apart from their legs. You have the animations that are just sliding to position when they could have been more... It's just, it's so weird. It, yeah, I, I guess that... If I had to say, it was just like, it feels like the game... It feels like all the money was put into one part of the game, which is the voice acting, the design, and uh, the VR stuff feeling decent. And then everything else was made with like the last hundred or so bucks they had in budget. It's weird. It's really weird. It's not bad, but it's just, it feels like it's all over the place in terms of quality. Story might be decent too. And like, it's, just, it's so weird. I don't really know how to feel about it. Like I said, it's not bad. It's just it's so weird. It's so weird. I don't know. I, I can see. Like, uh, as a game, I could probably suggest this to people. I could, like, go, hey, you like playing games in VR. You should try taking a look at this demo and see how you like it. And they'd be like, okay, sure. And some of them might pick it up. But for, like, general VR playingness, I really don't know if I can suggest this or not. Like, if you like the parts that are good, then you'll love the game. And if you really dislike the parts that are, like, lackluster, then you'll just hate it. And I don't, I don't know. Also, the problem is the game is 35 bucks, which is kind of an odd uh, price now that I think about it. How much is that in yen? $35 to yen. Uh, that's approximately 4,831. So I'm going to guess it probably was 5,000. Or maybe... Uh, five. Yeah, I think it was probably 5,000 yen. And then they uh, rounded that down a little bit to 35 bucks for the American release. Or 50, yeah, 5,000 yen. I don't know, it's... I really, I just really don't know how to, what to think about it. It's... How much is Moss right now? Uh, Moss is 30 bucks, $20 right now because it's on sale for the VR thingy, I bet. Uh, does not have a free demo, though. So that is... That is the upside to this game. It does have a free demo, which allows me to try it out. I really don't know. I like it, but I don't know if I could recommend it. But also, I don't know if I like it $35 much. 
But also, I did pay a lot of money for that one VR porn game just to make a gag video that one time. I think that was 40 bucks. I don't know, man. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I think I probably would have been a little bit better on it if it was... If the gameplay sections were maybe a little bit longer? Because those are all fairly short and repetitive. But I can see that, like, in... If I go to the Steam page, they've got a bunch of other things going on here. Like, they've got a... They got, like, a different kind of shield, which is like a riot shield kind of thing, where you can actually see through a gap in it, so you can aim while blocking, which is something that's a little hard to do with the current shield. There's a big old dragon boss... There's scenes, there's a cool black and white filter thing going on. What is that about? There's more characters. A lot of characters. Weird gags. There's a cityscape? There's actually... Oh, that must be the back streets. Oh, man, I would have liked to see what that looked like. There's a multi-boss fight. Oh, there's the rogue again. I don't know. It's it's good, but I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. Also, it's on Quest. So if you want to play it on Quest, you can play it there. I really just don't know. All right, anyway, that's... I think I'm going to leave it there. So I... That one's going to take me a minute to, like, parse, I think. I'd probably, like, find some people who also do VR stuff and see what they say, but I just... I don't know. It's a weird feeling. Like, I can't... Apart from the parts of it that are, like, low quality, nothing's actually bad. But I can't suggest it, and I don't know why exactly. I just... Something's bugging me about it. It might be because of just how, like, slow and interrupted heavy the beginning is, but that's pretty standard for JRPGs where they just, like, tell you no, you can't play for a period of time. I'll, I'll think on that one. I don't think I'll stream it, but if I do stream it, you'll know. I don't know. It's, it's so weird. All right, I'm going to leave that there. I'll be back tomorrow. No, I won't. No, tomorrow I can't be back because I've got stuff going all day tomorrow. I've got appointments to take care of. I've got to drive around. I might need to pick somebody up. Uh, if I do stream something, it'll be like maybe an hour and a half of Vampire Survivors before I have to get to my appointment. It's not, I'm not going to be doing anything tomorrow. So that's, that'll be that. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, go check out any of those games. They're all decent. Well, besides Crow Swarm, you can't, you can't play Crow Swarm. Only I can do that. Uh, you can you can wish list it though. You should do that. Necrosmith, you should get that one's three bucks, and then try the Runes Mages demo if you like VR. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna leave that. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of your day, night, evening, what have you. And I'll see you Wednesday, I guess, for Pathfinder. <laughs>